It's time for Lo-Fi Science Class with Mr. Hedgepeth of the Amoeba People. Welcome, everybody. Well, here we are, the uh, first of these experimental online videos. Okay, so what we're going to do here, uh, this is the Lo-Fi Science Class with Mr. Hedgepeth of the Amoeba People. Uh, for those of you who are not aware, the Amoeba people are musical ambassadors from the planet Crouton, and we're here to study the science of planet Earth. And uh, in order to fit in, one of the things that I do personally is I disguise myself as a classroom teacher and teach human youngsters so that I can learn more about the science of planet Earth. And um, so what I'm going to do today is, in this video, I'm going to begin to review for uh, the end of the year the end of the school year, that is, since a lot of people are at home uh, just, uh, you know, watching videos and Netflix and whatnot. I thought, let's review some science. And uh, we're going to go back to the beginning of this particular school year. And we're going to review in this short little episode, we're going to talk all about a guy named Thales. And uh, there's going to be a little bit of music and some visuals. Because it's the lo-fi. There we go. The lo-fi science class. There's your visuals. Look at that. Why lo-fi? Well, I mean, I'm taping this on an iPhone and I'm here in my garage slash studio and I have no whiteboard, but I do have a clipboard. Okay, so Thales, all right, he is the guy, the reason why we're gonna talk about him right now is because science pretty much begins with him as far as we can tell. There could be other people that it started with before Thales, but we don't know because he's the guy that is at least somebody wrote about him. So that's how we know. Uh, there could have been brilliant people before Thales that we just didn't realize existed, but he was one of the first guys at least that we have record of who looked at natural phenomena and, st and instead of you know attributing it to say Zeus uh, or, or what have you, he began to look for what were predictable, uh, actual observable things in nature that could uh, be replicated either through experiments or, or whatnot. So um, Thales um, lived in ancient Ionia, which is now what we call Turkey. And uh, that's near Greece and the Aegean Sea and all that. And um, in that region, all these, these uh, different people were kind of coming through and exchanging not only goods, but also ideas. And so these ideas were getting exchanged. And, um, and pretty soon you had all these people with uh, differing points of view and you needed some common ways of making sense of what was going on around them. And this is essentially how science came to be, at least in this region and as far as we know. So Thales, again, um, 624 BC to 546 BC. And, uh, and that little C, of course, means circa, which means we think it's about uh, that year because we're not uh, totally positive. But they are pretty positive that he kicked the bucket in 546 BC. Okay, so um, so let's let's get right into the, the song because that's really what's going to help us remember. Actually, the song doesn't have any real scientific concepts in it. Uh, it does remind us how to pronounce Thales, so it's helpful in that regard. So let me get um, tools of the trade here. Let's get the guitar. And uh, very dramatic. It's a very dramatic song. So, of course, we're out of tune. But I'm not gonna edit this out because it's just gonna be like a real classroom. You know, the guitar's out of tune in class. And I watch students go like this as I'm tuning the guitar. Oh, come on. As if you really would want me to play with an out of tune guitar. Give me a break. That's better. Okay, so. This is the land where it all began. Place your feet in the white sand of Ionia. Land where it all began. All right, that part again. This is the land where it all began. Place your feet on the white sand of Ionia. Ionia. It's not too difficult. All right, second verse. Okay. The first scientist. Yes, tell me, please. What was his name? hard to sing. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Thales. It's not that hard. Okay, 
now I'm gonna sing it, and I'm gonna, in, in those spaces, you're gonna echo. All right, you actually have a job now. So I say, this is the land, this is the land, but I won't be able to hear you. You're just gonna have to do it. I'm gonna have to trust you. All right, you're on the other side of the internet, so it's really hard for me to know if you're actually doing it, but I'm just gonna assume you are. So I say, this is the land, this is the land, where it all begin, where it all begin. Place your feet, place your feet on the white sand, on the white sands. And then in unison, we all, you on the other side of the internet and me on this side of the internet, we all say Thales or Ionia, first verse, and then Thales in the last verse, okay? This is the land, here we go, let's try it. This is the land where it all began. Place your feet in the white sand of Ionia. Ionia. I'm gonna go ahead and say good, although I don't know if what you did was very good. It could have, it could have been strange and bizarre and shriekingly loud. I don't know. I'm just gonna assume it was good though. Okay, so good job. All right, next one. Second verse. The first scientist. Tell me, please, what was his name? Thales, Thales. For some reason, my voice always cracks on Thales. Must be that e, that that vowel sound. All right, okay. That's, that's the song Thales. Okay, now uh, there is one other little song I want to teach you to help you remember the geography. Let me get this lo-fi whiteboard going here. Oh, um, at this moment I should mention that um, when I show you my artistic renderings of the Mediterranean and Aegean seas, um, it's, it's really important that you don't get discouraged or feel that, um, you know, that my artwork is superior to yours. Uh, you're most likely a student watching this um, and perhaps any parents of students watching this as well. Um, I just don't want you to feel ashamed of your own artistic ability when you see my incredible artistic know-how. Um, so with that in mind, here is a map of the Mediterranean and Aegean Sea. So what you have here is you've got um, Mediterranean. There's Italy, uh, you know, kind of has that boot shape. And so, you know, I just, I thought I'd be creative. And I'm like, well, if that's a boot, I'm gonna make Greece look like a hand, sort of an arm reaching out yeah. into, into the sea. Yeah. Uh, that was intentional because of the artistic mastery that you're seeing here. But here's the region I wanna, I wanna show you over here. So here you've got Greece, and then you have the Aegean Sea, and then you have Turkey. Now this is where uh, Miletus, Thales of Miletus, this is where he would have been from, and uh, this region being ancient Ionia. And, um, and so this is how you remember it. You say Greece, and then you have the Aegean Sea, and then of course you have Turkey. So you have Greece, Sea, Turkey easy to remember that way. So if you're like, wait, where did this all happen? Is it over here in the Mediterranean? Uh, Sicily? No. Italy? No, no. He's talking about Thales, the birth of science. This is the Ionian location that we're looking at here. But, but where, Mr. Hedgepeth, where is it? Greasy Turkey. So you've got Greece, you've got the sea, and you've got Turkey. And uh, there you have it. So here's, there's a little song. Um, it has three words. It's Greece, Sea, Turkey. So if you can remember that, then you can remember the song. Greece, Sea, Turkey. 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 That's the whole thing. Okay, so that's your science lesson for today. A little background on the birth of science. Thales, the first scientist that we know of. Of course, they didn't call them scientists back in that day. They called them natural philosophers. But Thales is the first one that we have record of. And uh, in the next video, we'll talk about a student of Thales because, of course, Thales was like, oh my gosh, all these things that I'm studying, they work consistently over time. They don't just work one time and then not come through all the other times. These are natural laws that he was discovering. This was science that he was discovering. And so he's like, I got uh, make sure other people know this. So he started a school and uh, the next video is going to be about one of his students. And uh, these guys had fantastic names. He had Thales, of course, and then uh, the next video will be about uh, one of his students, Anaximander. Okay, so uh, that's the uh, beginning of our science video review. 
and uh, thank you for uh, spending time with this lo-fi science class. Uh, it's much appreciated. My name is Mr. Hedgepath. And enjoy the other Amoeba People videos here uh, on the site and uh, subscribe. Uh, we put out music videos quite a bit. We have a podcast that we put up here as well, and uh, who knows how many more of these uh, we'll be putting up because uh, a lot of people are uh, learning uh, science and other things from the comfort of their own homes for a while. So hang in there, stay safe, uh, be safe, uh, learn a bunch of stuff, and uh, enjoy your time off. All right, till next time, everybody. Onward.